Hey guys, welcome to DOS Storm. Anyone remember 3D FX? How about Voodoo Cards? Well, when 3D acceleration started to become a thing in PCs in the mid 90s, a ton of companies were making 3D accelerator cards. Almost all of them had their own proprietary API and many of them died off quickly or only became supported by a handful of games. 3D FX was sort of different. They were a big player in early 3D acceleration and originally you needed a 3D FX Voodoo to use their proprietary Glide API. Out of the box, modern GPUs don't support the Glide API and buying a real Voodoo card gets to be almost as expensive as buying other GPUs. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad joke, sorry. Thankfully, there is a way to run Glide on any modern system and that is what I'm here to show you today. Now most Glide games run on Windows, but there are a handful that run under DOS, and I'll show you how to get those running as well, but first, let's start with Windows. So first what we need to use Glide on a modern GPU is a Glide wrapper. Basically this will translate the Glide API for the GPU and output it to an API the GPU understands, like OpenGL or DirectX. There are a few Glide wrappers around, but my favorite is DG Voodoo 2 as it has the most features and is the most frequently updated. So first we need to get DG Voodoo 2. I'll link it below, but a quick web search is really all you need. Once there, you need to download the latest version and unzip it to a convenient location on your system. So now let's navigate to the Glide game that you want to run. I have here Croc Legend of Gabos. Now before we do anything, we wanna run the setup program for the game if it has one, and select the Voodoo or Glide as the renderer. Now let's go back to our DG Voodoo folder and go to 3DFX x86. You should see three files in this folder, which are Glide, Glide 2x, and Glide 3x. If you look in the root of your game folder, you should see a file with the same name. Copy the file from the DG Voodoo folder and replace the file in the game folder with the same name. After that is done, go back to the root of your DG Voodoo folder and load the DG Voodoo CPL application as an administrator. If you don't load it as an administrator, sometimes it doesn't save uh, your settings, so make sure to run it as an admin. So once you get this program up, uh, go to the button at the top that says Add and navigate to the folder where your game is installed. Under the general tab, you can set uh, the screen size and the scaling mode. And in the glide tab, you can set your resolution to scale to modern widescreens. Uh, you can select the Voodoo card you wanna emulate and you can apply AA, which normally makes the game look pretty nice. After this, you can click apply and your game should load uh, with the settings you've applied here. Now, if you look at Croc here, uh, you'll notice it looks a lot better, probably because I've scaled it to 1440p and uh, there's some AA settings here. So this is actually a very good way to improve the look of uh, some old games and make them look a little bit more modern. Some people might not like that, but for this game in particular, I think it looks pretty cool. So before we set up this method for getting this to work with DOS games, I have a few other things to note. So first, even if you're on a 64-bit OS, you always have to use the x86 glide files when you copy to game folders. Number two, if you want the 3DFX splash screen option to work, you need to download the 3DFX splash DLLs from the DG Voodoo website and place them inside of your game folder. Number three, if you load the setup program for the game and uh, you select a different renderer and then switch back, uh, it usually breaks the integration of this. All you have to do to fix it normally is just recopy the DG Voodoo glide file back into the game folder and it should work again. And now finally fourth, uh, alternatively, you can also copy these Glide DLLs to your Windows System 32 folder and Windows SysWow64 respectively if you want games to globally be able to tap into this DG Voodoo API. However, do this at your own risk as some bad things can happen if you mess with system files sometimes. So just uh, keep that in mind. All right, so getting things up and running with 3DFX DOS games is a little different here, and there's a few methods. However, uh, I'm gonna just explain the easiest method 
uh, which is to use DOSBox X. If you aren't familiar with DOSBox X, it's a fork of DOSBox uh, with a ton of enhancements, and more importantly, it has 3D effects emulation built in. So obviously to get started, uh, we just go to the DOSBox X website and download the latest version. Uh, now before you do anything, load up DOSBox X and in the menu, go to configuration and then click on Voodoo. In this menu, set the Voodoo card to software. You can run it in the auto setting it has here, but it will default to OpenGL and won't allow you to run the game in anything but a window. So after you make those changes, make sure you save the configuration and exit DOSBox X. Now all you have to do is drag your 3DFX DOS game, I have uh, the Tomb Raider demo here, into your DOSBox X icon and the game will load up. Now, loading DOS games with uh, 3DFX emulation is certainly a bit more hit or miss than the Windows version is right now. Uh, Tomb Raider seems to run okay. I tried Descent 2, there's a ton of graphical glitches and it's pretty much unplayably slow. But, I mean, there's better ways to play Descent 2, but I just did it as a test. So what I'm saying is your mileage may vary. However, this is a pretty new feature in DOSBox X, so I only expect it to get better over time. But anyway, guys, that just about does it for this video today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give me a like or a sub. Also, check out my other videos. I did one recently on how to get 16-bit Windows applications running on modern Windows. So check that out if you're interested. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.